love you, you love me. We are happy family. A happy family of Easy Elimu. It's your teacher announcer. Welcome to Easy Elimu Learning Simplified Division. Now, this one should not even give you pressure. The same way I've just told you. You have been told to. These are how many flowers? We have one, two, three. These are eight flowers. And someone tells you, these eight flowers, divide them among two pupils. This is the sign of division. Are you seeing the sign division now? I've taught you how many signs? The addition sign, the minus sign, the multiplication sign, and the division sign. These are the main signs and the equal sign. In mathematics, we don't have any other sign. When you see this, just know you're supposed to do what? Add, plus, put together, make. When you see this, you're supposed to do what? Two minus. And when you see this, you're supposed to do what? To multiply. And this one is to divide. <coughs> what about this one? This one simply means you're supposed to give the equal something that is equal to. So those are the basic signs in mathematics. So when you see this sign, you just know it is to divide. So there are eight flowers, and you're being told, divide these eight flowers among four people. So how many will each get? What do you do? Divide them among four people. So person number one gets that. Person number two gets that gets that. Then the last one gets that. So how many flowers does each one get? One, two. Person number two, one, two. Number three, one, two. Number four, one, two. So you find your answer as simple as that. You have been told divide ten chairs among two pupils. How many will each pupil get? Ten chairs among Two pupils. These are my ten chairs. These are my ten chairs. Did I say these are chairs? No. I'm just using concrete things to show you what I mean by to divide or to share. These are how many? These are ten chairs. And you're being told you divide these ten chairs among how many? Divide them among two. So we are saying this one gets one, two, three, four, five. So if you divide it among two, how many will each get? How many will each get? One, two, three, four, five. So each will get five. You have been told you have how many apples? Someone has told me that you have one, two, three, four, Five, six, you have six apples and you're being told these apples divide them among how many? Divide them among three pupils. So this one, so we are saying six apples divide them among three pupils. So you divide. Now tell me how many apples does each get? Pupil 1 gets 2, 2, 2. So 6 divide 3, you get 2. 6 divide 3, you get 2. Now, during your free time at home, I want you to share the cups at home among the number of family members. Divide family members. Okay? Then... You divide the plates again among the family members, chairs in the house among the family members, and beds among the family members. So tomorrow when you meet, you'll tell me how many cups are in your house and how many people are in your house. When you divide, how many cups does each get? How many plates are in your house? How many family members? When you divide, how many does each get? How many chairs? How many beds? So tomorrow when you meet, we'll have an exciting story because 
some of us will give us funny funny stories okay it was nice having you around and i hope to see you in the next lesson thank you